Hello everyone. I'm so sorry I can't be there with you in person. I'm on an important trip. Uh, but I want you to know that going to the results conference is one of the highlights of every year. And next year, I promise to be there. I want to thank especially Joanne Carter and all the U.S. volunteers for their great help in supporting our IDA funding. I know that many of the volunteers from all over the world have been voicing their support for the World Bank Group and IDA, but I want you to know uh, that we deeply appreciate it and it, your efforts have made a huge difference in getting us to where we are today. Our Fund for the Poorest Countries is now 50% larger than it was three years ago and it's going to make a huge difference around the issues that all of you care so much about, especially around the issues of health and education. You know, Annette Dixon, our new Vice President for Human Development, uh, has been leading the efforts around our Human Capital Project. So many efforts that you have advocated for and that I've advocated for in my previous career uh, have now been flowing for health and education. But one of the things we've noticed is that governments in some of the poorest countries are now waiting for those funds to flow. And we're not seeing the kind of commitment to improving health and education outcomes that we need to prepare countries to compete in the economy of the future. You know, we've looked at uh, our learning adjusted years of schooling and then added to it uh, uh, very straightforward indicators like childhood stunting, adult mortality, and life expectancy, and asked a pretty simple question. If you take learning adjusted years of schooling and those three health indicators and look back 25 years and ask the question, are improvements in those indicators related to economic growth, what we found was really quite stunning. That the correlation of those factors to economic growth were among the strongest correlations we'd ever seen. Uh, it's not just that uh, investing in health and education is a good thing to do. We found that it is in fact the smartest thing to do if you want your country to be able to compete in the global economy and if you want to create the kinds of jobs and opportunities that every citizen deserves. You know, I, I, I think that the launching of the Human Capital Index that will happen at the annual meetings in Bali in October is going to be very important for, for all of you at uh, Results and certainly for all of us at the, at the World Bank Group. But it's also going to be really important for our effort to end poverty and boost shared prosperity. One of the things we've learned from the Human Capital Index uh, is that focusing on, uh, on real outcomes, on making sure you're learning in school, making sure children are not stunted, making sure that adults are not dying of diseases that are either preventable or treatable, and living long, healthy lives, all those things are going to be ever more important as we move into a future where automation, artificial intelligence, and uh, our robots are going to take over a lot of the simpler tasks. What I think will happen with the Human Capital Index is it will move heads of state and ministers of finance from waiting for uh, the money to flow in grant form, preferably, for health and education to one in which they're going to demand uh, that all of us work together to help them improve their outcomes. There's nothing like a ranking to capture, capture people's attention. And my hope is that after that ranking, uh, the volunteers of results will be in greater demand. People will be asking all of you, so what can we do to improve our outcomes? Uh, I also think that uh, the demand for uh, lending from the World Bank Group and the expertise of the World Bank Group will also go up. I hope you have a great conference. I want you to know that your work has been extremely important for us in this year in which not only uh, have we launched uh, the largest IDA in history, but we've gotten a capital increase that will allow us to extend our reach and give every single person on earth the opportunity that he or she deserves. Thank you very much.